Hello and welcome. Today we will be conducting a lab that teaches students that temperature and catalysts affect how fast a reaction occurs. The name of this lab is Rate of Reaction. The materials you will need are 350 milliliter beakers, three Alka-Seltzer tablets, a hot plate, a stopwatch, a thermometer, room temperature water, and some ice. The Sunshine State Standard in this lab helps students investigate and describe that many physical and chemical changes are affected by temperature. The inquiry question for this lab is, design an experiment to investigate the effects of temperature on how quickly an Alka-Seltzer tablet dissolves in water. Develop and write a procedure in eight steps and get it approved by your teacher, then do the experiment. The conclusion statement for this lab is, higher temperature of water causes Alka-Seltzer to dissolve faster. Now on to the lab. First put your students into groups. Then hand out materials and ask your students to figure out how to dissolve the Alka-Seltzer the fastest. First thing you're going to want to do is fill up the three 150 milliliter beakers with regular water. And then after that, you'll put ice in one of the beakers because you want the water to be cold. Leave one of the other beakers with regular water and then the last beaker, you should put it on carefully on the hot plate that's already been on for a while on high. Okay? So now you have to wait for a while. So four minutes have gone by and now we're gonna measure the temperature of the water that's on the hot plate. And the temperature is Eighty-five degrees Celsius. So that's hot enough for the purposes of this experiment. We don't have to have it at 100 degrees C boiling. Um, it's slightly boiling right now. That should be okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop an Alka-Seltzer tablet into the water and make sure that as soon as it hits the water, you press the start button on your stopwatch. Okay, so you can take the time that it takes for the entire tablet to dissolve, okay? So here we go. So it took about 21 seconds for the entire tablet to dissolve in the hot water, okay? So now we're gonna repeat the experiment with a room temperature water. Okay, so here we go. And that took 45 seconds to dissolve. And now we're going to go ahead and repeat the experiment one last time, but with the cold water. Let me move this out of the way so you can see the stopwatch. And uh, there's still some ice cubes on the top, but that's fine. Try to see if you can have the Alka-Seltzer drop down to the center where there's no ice cubes. And here we go. And it took two minutes and 14 seconds for the Alka-Seltzer tablet to dissolve in the cold water. After the experiment, discuss applications of this principle, such as refrigeration. The student should use the ice and the hot plate to change the temperature of the water. They should notice that the cold water dissolves the Alka-Seltzer very slowly, while the hot water dissolves it very fast. A possible question to ask is, what are the conditions for the highest rate of reaction? Mm -hmm. 
that'll be all for today. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.